and welcome back to another video folks happy sunday and all that jazz today we're still in last week's video actually this is the morning of last week's video if you haven't seen that there'll be a link just up here but we are in this awesome location in the shropshire hills but if you watched last week's video you would have known exactly where we are but today i don't really want to talk too much about the shropshire hills because i mentioned in last week's video that i've got something that's going to make me now go gasless in the van and i actually can confirm i've got no gas in the van whatsoever so this little product has allowed me to go gasless it is a Bluetti item and it is an absolute monster and I will show you something else at the end as well. But without further ado, let's take a look at what we've got. This folks is the Bluetti AC200 Max. So last night I cooked tea and I've boiled the kettle this morning. It's gone from 100% down to 82%. This is the main feature of the actual product itself then. So we have four AC three pin UK outlets. You've got your typical USBs, you've got some other USBs, and you've got your quick charge USB-C. You've got a DC 12 volt 10 amp, and you've also there got your 12 volt DC 30 amp and your typical cigarette lighter. You've got your on off button, and you've also got all of the front screen as well where there's so much data on here it took me a while to figure it all out so you can see the actual dc wattage that's being used you can see ac wattage that's being used and also you can see how much power is coming in and that is solely if you're going off uh, your mains charger or even solar you can see how much wattage is going back into the unit this is also a game changer for me this is two wireless charging outputs as well so you can charge phones, iPads, watches, Apple watches, anything like that on top of the unit as well. And this for me is great. I mentioned in one of my other videos that one of the other products I had didn't have that, but this is bloody awesome. There's no cables involved. You just chuck your phone straight down onto the top and that's giving you the option then for it to charge with no cables whatsoever. Round on the side of the unit then you've got your input there for your AC. You've also got these other units and these other attachments as well. They are if you want to connect the additional battery to the Bluetti. And also you've got your input here as well. This one you'll be using if you were to connect your solar panels. But look at it, isn't it just a monster and isn't it just a thing of beauty? To turn the DC on, You've got down here DC off, you just click that and it gives you the option to turn it on or off. And it's the same again with the AC, it's going on, off. So there's no dials or any buttons, it literally is all touchscreen. And it is one of the things that attracted me to it. Having an LCD display where you control the DC or the AC, to me, I find a lot better than having a push button. So as I mentioned earlier as well, I ran last night's tea off it, I boiled the kettle this morning and it just uses, the, 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 the induction hob that I've got only uses 800 watts max and the kettle is 650 watts max, but that is a thing of beauty. I keep saying it guys, but this is what's given me the opportunity now to go off grid and to be gasless in the van. So again, you can connect up to two external batteries to this, which gives you probably a combined total of over six kilowatts. So this little flap here, that's where you will charge the main uh, unit itself with the AC adapter that they give you. So there we go, that's breakfast all done for me, all cooked on the induction hob from the Blue Etty. Now you're probably gonna be wondering, all right, what's gonna happen then if you run out of electricity in that power unit? Well, Bluetti were also kind enough to send me the additional battery that I'll either go on top or underneath. Now, that additional battery is gonna give me the exact same power of what this actual unit is itself. The power of the unit is 2048 watt hours and also the power of the extended battery is 2048 watt hours and that just gives you an idea that I'm getting over 4 kilowatts of power from the actual unit itself and the additional battery. And from cooking tea last night, making myself a brew this morning and cooking breakfast, I've still got 70% left which means it's only used 30%. So the induction hob performs absolutely brilliantly 
upon the Blue Etty. I could have sat at home and done a review on this, but I thought it was best to show you guys this unit in action, whether it be boiling my kettle or even just showing you how to cook my breakfast using that induction hob. There's not many other features to show you really, apart from what it's actually got on the display panel here. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see, but you've got your settings, there's so much that you can change from it. So you can either change your DC input source from PV to others. Um, you can also put Bluetooth on as well. Change the brightness of the screen. There is so much you can do on here. So there is app technology with this as well. So it's got Bluetooth, connect your phone to it. You can turn on DC and AC. You can also turn off the unit via the app. The only trouble you've got though is you can't turn this back on via the app. You can only turn on and off AC and DC and actually turn the unit off itself. It would have been nice if you could turn the power unit on via the app, because if that's hidden and stored, then it would have been ideal to just pull your phone out and turn it on. Let's take you back where I will show you the unit and the battery connect. So it's worth noting then that the B230 battery on its own has a couple of charge points with it. It has a USB-A 18 watt port. It has your new USB-C 100 watt fast charging port. And it also as well has your standard 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter socket too. There is the port as well for your where your link cable goes to plug into the battery pack. There is also your AC adapter unit as well, so you can manually charge it from the wall. And also you've got your on-off button, which will give you your battery indicator LEDs as well. So it's worth noting then when you purchase the additional battery, you get the link cable uh, provided with that as well. So to connect the link cable, insert the one end into the B230 battery and then connect the opposing end into the AC200 Max. It is important when you do this that the lock tabs you have to flick forwards to lock the cable into place on both sides. So what we'll do now is we'll take a quick look at the app. I'll show you a couple of the features it's got where you can see input and output wattage um, from the app as well. And that should mirror up what we actually see on the AC200 Max as well. So without further ado, let's have a quick look and then we'll have a roundup. Right, so one thing I want to show you guys then quickly is just the app. So you'll see on screen now that I've got the um, screen on on the actual AC200 Max itself and I've also got the app open as well which you'll see into the one side. So what's going to be happening now just to show you quick I have got my laptop installed into the AC200 Max but just to show you what you can do you can do this two ways you can turn on the AC from the AC200 and what you'll see now on the app as well is you're, it's showing that there's an output power go into the AC side of things in the bottom right. So we can see on screen as well that you've got, it's fluctuating just around the 100 watts mark um, on the app as well, it's showing. But at the same time, we'll be able to turn off the AC and stop the laptop from charging. So if I hit the button now, okay, so it's cut off all power altogether. You can actually do the same with DC. Um, but I haven't got anything plumbed into DC at the moment, but also at the top left on the app you'll be able to see um, When you're powering from home, it'll only take around 400 watts the AC 200 will But also when you're charging from PV, which is your solar panels You'll be able to see it in the top left of the screen or also in the top left on the app So basically the app is a similar layout to what you're seeing on screen here You'll also see as well you can turn off and that should power off the AC200 very shortly. There we go. All done. So there you go. That is a good look there at the AC200 and the B230 extra battery that we have managed to get with it as well. Again, this is going to allow me to go gasless in the van. I'm not going to need any type of gas whatsoever for cooking. I can rely on my induction hob and the AC200 Max. If you've enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you've got any questions about it whatsoever. I'm going to leave a link down below as well in the description to the Bluetti website. Go and check them out. Go and check the specs of it. And as I always say, guys, make sure you purchase the one that's right for you and will accommodate your needs. Normal service will resume next week when uh, we'll be back out in the tent or the van. i got a feeling it could be the tent. 
But anyway, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I hope you found it quite useful, and I'll see you on another adventure.